Hey, so here is just a quick look at the next In The Walls update. Now, as a reminder, In The Walls is an augmented reality app for iOS that uses real-time face tracking to distort surfaces around you. So you can see that it is tracking my face here and actually distorting the parking lot and making it look like the ground is really being distorted by my face here. Now, this new update adds a few new options, which I think open up some additional creative possibilities. The first one, of course, is that you can now place the face on the ground. Previously, you could only place it on walls, but this feature is actually coming from my Beatsy Augmented Reality Music Visualizer app. So I can go and I can place the face on any ground. So it needs to be a flat surface, but I can place it here. I can scale it up if I wanted to. And again, the cool thing about In The Walls is that it actually looks like it's distorting the surface itself. It's not just a simple overlay. You can see how that line, for example, is kind of bending as I move my face around. So it really looks like the ground is being distorted. Now, if I'm placing the face on a wall, let me just go in here and find the wall. You can see that I can also now rotate the face. Let me get a little center there so you can see the distortion effect applying again. But now I can go in, I can just tap and drag to rotate the face around. I can pinch to scale it up. So I can have talking upside down, for example. So I can just ro rotate the face around. And again, this kind of opens up the places where you can go and place the face and the types of effects that you're doing. Now, in combination with that, the recording functionality has been tweaked. So if I go in here, and I can't actually demonstrate this right now, but if I was recording a video, I can just tap and hold on the center button. Previously, you had to hold down the button to actually do the recording. Now that will actually start a countdown, which lets you interact with the recording and change the face position as you're actually making the recording. So again, I think it makes it a little bit easier for content creators to use the app. Now, all of these features also do work with the uh, depth snapshot feature. So this is an in-app purchase for people with a front-facing true depth camera. So I can go in here, get a depth snapshot, and this will use the front-facing camera to actually take a snapshot. Um, of the depth information. So you can see it's capturing me here, and this would let you capture things like your hairstyle, facial expressions, and a little bit more detail than the generic face would. So just captured a snapshot here. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna place that on the ground here. And you can see that it's now using that snapshot information to distort the ground here. So I can go and adjust the effect here, I can adjust the extrusion. I could even adjust the lighting if I wanted to. So I have all these fun possibilities. And again, all of these new features, so I can rotate, I can place it on the ground. All these features work with the depth snapshot feature and with the pre-recorded expressions that are supported on older devices as well. So that's just a quick look at the new update. It's available in the App Store now, uh, and it is a free app. So definitely give it a try and let me know if you create anything cool.